that you fly right away. When you want to be a doctor, they put you in the medical environment. You understand that? If they don't put you in the medical environment, you can't become a doctor. If you want to be an architect, they put you in an architectural environment called the university. So then you come out as an, an engineer or a doctor. So we bring up kids so they understand human behavior, the science of human behavior. And they raise animals and they teach the animals how to behave a certain way. Once they learn that, they then work on higher animals, then on kids, other kids. They learn how to shape their behavior. For example, I take a lot of kids, like 10 of them. And when I say kids, I'm about six years old. And I say this to the kids. I say, I want you to put the seed in the ground. And since you can't write, which they usually can't at six, draw pictures of what happens. And they draw a chute coming up out of the ground. Then they draw another scene with a chute higher and a little sort of a leaf. And they keep drawing the evolution of plants. Then in school, normal school, they teach kids that plants grow. I don't know. I say that plants of themselves cannot grow. If you put them in a dry environment without sunlight, without water, without nutrients, without temperature and gravity, they will remain a seed. There are seeds that just don't grow unless it's sunlight, warm, springtime. So they learn that seeds need all those things. But those are words. I call this a glass because somebody told me but that's a glass. That's not what it is. It's a word we assigned it. You understand? That's not what it is. This is obsidian, sand, and certain other materials mixed together and melted. We don't go into that. We give it a name. Orange juice, because its color is orange. But that doesn't tell you what orange juice is. Orange juice is particles from the orange suspended in fluid. And so more descriptive systems, but the average person does not require that. The average person is satisfied, this is a glass, this is a plate, this is a cup, but they can't communicate with other people, really tell you what this is. Like if a guy gets mad because he picks up the coffee cup and his coffee drips on his lap. But if you put in that saucer, if you put three ridges, so the cup is up in the air, no coffee will drip on his lap. That's dealing with the problem. The other is, God damn that coffee cup. They, they get mad. There are people, they turn their TV set on, it doesn't go on, they kick it sometimes. They give it personality. It's called protecting human attributes in inanimate objects. So a person said to me, will people be care in your society Will they have feelings? Will they be emotional? Well, the way I look at emotions is in a detrimental way. Let me tell you why. If your kids are trapped in the car, it turns over and you can't open the door. And the car, gasoline, is beginning to spill over the engine. You know what's going to happen. It's going to explode. So, she says, oh my God, my poor kids are in the back of the car. That's emotional. I want to transfer emotions into an action plan where she picks up something, breaks the window, and takes the kids out. That's what I mean. And I, oh my God. See, when I was at Rice Field, two planes hit in midair, and people were saying, oh my God, look, they're falling. I hope that people will get out. The minute they hit, I ran to the hangar, put a fire extinguisher in the Jeep, and headed out to where the plane fell. I was able to put out the fire, fortunately. But I could have been emotional. Oh my God, I hope they live. I hope they just not right. Emotions are bullshit. You have to translate emotions into something. When you say war is terrible, that doesn't do anything to stop war. Unless you provide the means of doing that. So I want to get away from emotions and translate it into a working system. Do you understand?